Today we're talking about home buying process timeline. My name is Ming Duong. And I'm Angela Duong, and we're with Coldwell Banker Tuga Realtors and MadHomesUtah.com. I just wanted to let you know that what we're about to talk to you about is what we know in our Utah market. So some of their states might have a different timeline and you would wanna check with the state that you're in or you can reach out to us and we'll find an agent there for you that can help you with how their timelines work. So let's go ahead and get started. So here in the state of Utah, it takes close to 30 to 45 days, depending on when you get your home under contract. This does not include the time it takes to look for the home. Because of the things that you're looking for, your wants, your needs, price range, it might not always be readily available. So that could take 30 days, it could take two months. We've had some buyers take a couple years because they're just waiting to find that right property. So you cannot include the time it takes searching for what you're wanting. The other thing that might add to your timeline is the fact that if your credit scores aren't perfect or you want to get them higher for a better interest rate, that's going to take time. Could be a couple months, could be a little bit longer. Maybe you need to pay off some debts. So that can't be included in the timeline we are about to talk about. So the first step is what happens when you first get the contract accepted? So during the 30 to 45 days of getting the house under contract, um, first thing that's going to happen is you're going to receive seller's closures, which is typically anywhere between five to seven days. For those of you guys who don't know what seller disclosures are, it's basically seven to eight pages of a little bit about history of the house, anything that is to the best of the knowledge of the homeowner, how long they've lived there, if they've ever had any problems, things like that. The next step into the buying process is going to be the home inspection. From the time you get the contract accepted, usually it's about two to two and a half weeks, depending on the dates that you put in the contract. And what you're going to want to do is go through the home with the home inspector, usually costs about $300, give or take, depending on the size of the home and what you want them to do. Um, what you're going to want to do is go through the report to see if it looks okay. If there's any major concerns, you can ask the seller if they'll repair them. You can cancel the contract. If they're minor, you can go ahead and say, hey, we're good with that and take care of them after the house is closed. During the time of the seller's disclosures and the home inspection, you need to make sure you keep your lender updated on any paperwork or anything else that they need so we can continue the process smoothly. Sometimes the things that they're going to need, even though you've already turned them in for your first prequal, uh, you may have to do updated bank statements if you prequaled a few months ago, updated pay stubs, and they're, they're going to want to know what homeowner's insurance you're going to want. There's just a lot of things that the lender is going to ask for during the process of you buying the home, and it's going to benefit you to keep up with all of that so that it doesn't delay any of the process. So what happens next is the appraisal and financing deadline. Depending on how you've got it set up, whether it's the 30 to 45 days, usually you want to have your appraisal and financing basically approved by week three or four. So what you need to do is make sure everything has been given to the lender, your appraisal has come in good, and then you can move to the closing stages. And always remember, time is of the essence. So the final step in the timeline is the settlement process. Me? Yeah. Okay. So at the settlement, which is the 30 to 45 days, you're going to get some closing disclosures about three days before. It has to be at least three days before your actual signing date. And it's going to show you all the numbers to make sure that you're good with everything. And then when it's time to close, which will be your settlement deadline, date on the contract, that is when you're going to go into the title company and you will sign all the documents. Don't be afraid, work your hands, some of those packets are about that thick. But it is very, the title company goes over all the details and we're there to answer any questions. It's just you want to work those hands and get ready to sign your name, especially if you've got your middle name in there, because that can get tiring. So what happens after that is you're going to sign all the documents, they're going to send it back to the lender, and the lender's also going to check the seller's signatures as well. 
and then they're going to send the funds to the title company, which then the title company can disperse all the funds to the seller, to the agents, and then it will be recorded at the courthouse. That part usually takes the next day, usually the afternoon, but sometimes, in some cases and with some lenders, you can get it done the same day if you sign early enough. It could record later in the afternoon, so it really depends on how everything is going together. After you get your house recorded and everything and everything's done, it's when we turn over the keys and the home becomes yours. And, and that, that is the home buying, buying process, process timeline in a, in a nutshell. nutshell. See you next time.